This is a quick guide on flashing uh, using QMK for a JJ50 uh, keyboard. Firstly, we're going to download and install the QMK toolbox application. It's on GitHub. Okay, and we scroll down, we find the download part. Get the latest release, 0 0.021 is the current one for me. Scroll down a little bit. Um, we can see the QMK underscore toolbox underscore install.exe. So we want to install that. Now you want to go to the QMK configurator. Pretty straightforward. Uh, we're going to be, in this case, using the JJ50. Uh, and it should appear. Now, what you can do here is you can change the layout of your keyboard. So you can drag things from keyboard below or in other things such as layer changing. So MO is momentarily uh, changing the layer, whereas the one on the screen uh, switches it, like toggles the layer. So let's say toggle layer 13, we can go to layer 13 and now we can edit that layer. However, this is not what I want to do for the moment. So what I'm going to do, going to, there we go, import our keymap file. This is what I made earlier. And you can see we've got the number pad set up on the right. What we can do is we can export it and save it uh, and we can import it like I did earlier. So now you want to hit compile. You're going to wait for it to uh, bake. Now we're going to go to firmware, hit download, hit leave page and a pop-up should come up and you can save that file. So You're going to want to find the file we just downloaded. Open that up. You want to select what keyboard you have. In our case, it's JJ50. Select that. And for JJ50, as we look underneath, we can see that the chip that we are using is the Atmega 32A. So we have that selected. I recommend having Auto Flash and Flash when ready selected. And now we need to go to our keyboard. So now we're ready to flash it. We want to unplug our keyboard. And we're going to want to hold down this key right here for the JJ50, which is the reset button. So it's the one below the top right. So we're going to hold that down. And make, still holding it down, we're going to plug it in to the computer. If I get it in the right way. And now you'll see what's happening on screen. It's currently flashing the uh, keyboard. Disconnect, reconnect, and now it should be done. Um, and yeah, now it's flashed, and what we can do is we can go back to the configurator, click test keyboard, and now, as you can see, it's all working as we want it. Um, so in our case, we want to change this to the numpad, which we have done. So what we do is we hold, and bring it up to the camera. So what we can do is we can hold raise. Well, we're going to press raise, and then if we click on these buttons, you can see eight's been pressed, nine, uh, seven, nine. So now we've got a functional number pad quite happily just by pressing down raise. We can do what we need to.